besides your platforms for um, teaching like ISIS and Moses and the other administrative stuff like Tuport and um, the email exchange uh, software we talked about earlier, there are also a couple of other IT services and software you should know about when attending to Berlin. Um, at first, um, yeah, a couple of tools for online teamwork that might come in handy. Um, we have a next cloud based cloud service here at Tubulin that's called TubCloud. Um, you'll get 50 gig gigabytes of cloud storage um, for free for your personal use and also for your study use. Um, if you are for some reason getting employed at Tubulin, it's um, up to 200 gigabytes, by the way. Um, yeah, it's really handy because um, you can just upload your stuff and have it um, si uh, yeah, sit there securely as long as Tubalin doesn't get hacked when the service may actually get down, which would be a bit unfortunate, but hopefully it doesn't happen again uh, that soon. Um, next, um, we also have a GitLab service here at Tubalin, um, which is like GitHub but uh, hosted on premise here at at the um, um, at your computation center um, down in the EN building. Um, yeah, you can use it with your for your student projects, uh, for for your uh, module related projects. Um, it's easy to use. Go for it. Um, you might also may also know Overleaf, um, which we actually do not own. Um, or do not have a license here at Tubalin, it's not hosted by Tubalin, but it's rather neat if you uh, have to do some LaTeX work. Um, um, it comes in really handy, um, but you have to register at another account. Um, but yeah, it's probably something you'll uh, need to use for some uh, things, so keep this in the mind. If you actually want to work collaboratively at documents, not with LaTeX, but with Word or something else, then you should have a look at um, OnlyOffice, which is part of TubCloud. Um, and yeah, there you can open a document in the TubCloud, and then others can also open the document in the TubCloud, and you, then you can work collaboratively on a Word document or on an Excel sheet on a PowerPoint presentation. Um, it works quite well, so have a look at it if you need to work collaboratively at MS Office or OpenOffice documents. It might also occur to you that you need to um, access services from Tubalin remotely that are not open to the internet. Uh, for this, there are a couple of options. For, at first, you have a VPN service at Tubalin that you should um, configure properly because it might, you might need it for accessing some uh, books at the university library um, and also some books at um, for example, the IEEE library or Springer Link. Um, there's a video tutorial, and um, you'll find it in the in the information uh, right below this video. And if you need to access other services um, that are only um, yeah that are a bit more special, then you you also the SSH access might come in handy. We have a wiki page in our Freitax from the wiki for that. There's also a remote desktop access. Um, you can find information about that at the ECS websites or also at the Zekem websites, which is the um, central um, body that does all the IT stuff at Tubal. Um, other software that might come in handy for you is the Office 365 subscription um, that we have at Tubal in which you may or may not be able to use right now because there are currently some issues with registering new users. Um, but hopefully you can, you, you'll soon be able to activate your Office 365 uh, subscription and then you can um, use proper Office at your, at your laptop um, or computer. Um, we also have um, a MATLAB license. Um, you should keep an Keep an eye on that if MATLAB is something that you need to use in your in your studies. And um, there are also a couple of other um, uh, software things uh, that, that might come in handy. For example, um, there is this um, 
I think it's called um, uh, there, is, there are some Microsoft programs that previously were called Azure or Imagine. Um, you'll, you'll find them on the EHCS website. Um, um, yeah, they offer a specialized software that is especially useful for development purposes, like I think Visio. Um, if this is something that you need, then uh, head over there and uh, get your license. Or I think there are also maybe even a, there may even be a, a Windows license if, you, if that's something that you need.